everybody. It's Eddie from Tokyo. This is your cryptocurrency update from Japan. Maybe you saw this headline, Ripple's XRP could be the official cryptocurrency of the 2020 Olympic Games. Ripple News, Saturday, October 6th. Well, I want to give you some information as to what prompted this. And also, maybe together, we can form an opinion based on some information. Uh, I think first things first, we want to see why did this article get written? Well, there is a gentleman by the name of Ken Takahashi. He's a baseball player, obviously. He played in Japan on the Hiroshima carp from 1995 to 2008. He did get signed for one year uh, with the New York Mets at the age of 40, by the way, and has since returned back to Japan. But he started a petition. And this petition is on the change.org website. Anybody can start any petition. And his is make XRP the official cryptocurrency of the Tokyo Olympics 2020. Uh, 8,123 people have signed so far. And he did change out the logo, which was a good thing because he had used without permission and altered the official Olympic logo in to from Tokyo. And that's a, that's a big no-no. The IOC is very touchy for anybody who uses a logo, alters a logo, or uh, yeah, anything with the logo. Those Olympic logos are totally um, off limits to anybody who, does, who don't have permission. So anyway, he changed that out. So no problem now. But I just want to take a look at some things to really decide, is this just fun or is it possible? If you remember, uh, back in July, we saw among the many, many, many slides from SBI Holdings, which is a big partner to Ripple, the Q3 uh, results. And one of those slides is about the development of an S-Coin platform. It was an, it's a, an original coin issuing platform that's used by local governments. It's to be used by local governments, businesses, companies, and regional banks, etc. So the S-Coin platform can be used to issue many types of digital coins to be used as a settlement method, including cryptocurrency or prepaid electronic money. So that settlement platform is striving to reduce settlement costs and the use of cash significantly by providing original settlement coins. The government in Japan is really pushing banks and companies hard to go cashless because this country still has a love affair with cash. I have a, a graph that will show you that. But here you can see that the SBI group is going to provide that platform to those entities, local governments, businesses, and regional banks, with the company Orb. Orb is uh, a company that was founded in Tokyo in 2014, and they will provide that um, vanilla coin for these types of projects. So you can see here that cash is still king in Japan. Sweden, gosh, congratulations. You're almost cashless. Uh, Brazil, UK, Canada, doing very well at the top, followed by Australia, Korea, Mexico, then the US, India, Russia, Singapore, Switzerland, and then look at Japan. So. Japanese just have a tough time giving up their cash. This is the company Orb. They provide a cutting-edge distributed ledger 
platform that enables low cost, reliable and frictionless transactions. So this platform is available so you don't have a huge investment. You don't need to know programming languages. You don't need to have people on staff that can code. It is really a simple process. So let's just say here, for example, let's say you're a city that has a, an, a castle and that castle needs restoration. So the local government might issue a coin and that would be a means of raising funds to uh, sell goods and services within um, an, you know, within a uh, set preset retail environment that then raises money to make the restoration possible. So that's kind of an example how, of how a local government might use it. Uh, SBI is actually testing their own S-Coin within their headquarters now with some restaurants and a convenience store inside their uh, place of business. And on the 26th of September, we saw the um, in the uh, press release, the Japanese financial titan SBI, um, what is it here, looks to start cashless society with mobile payments token trial. So they, this is about their own token that they have created uh, and they are testing it right now. And this is just one of many tokens being trialed by banks here in Japan. If we go back to this one article by Bloomberg, and I take you up to this portion, you can see here the digital payment initiatives with all of the Japanese banks. So they all have something going on with creating this uh, goal of going cashless. So Mitsubishi, MUFJ, Sumitomo, the Bank of Fukuoka, Yokohama Bank, Raisona Bank. Even when we come down here, you can see Ripple Labs and a consortium of 61 Japanese banks. Of course, we all know this is the recent launch of MoneyTap. And then in that press release from September 26th, we learned that Glory is the company that's going to provide the hardware. So the S coin platform is an issuing platform for digital currency, etc., developed by SBI Holdings. You can design and publish your own digital currency according to your application, such as electronic money of prepaid payment means is for an example, and the base part utilizes Orb DLT, which is a distributed ledger technology provided by Orb, which has key expertise and foundation software related to the blockchain aided payment field. Okay. This is a picture of an SBI employee who is using their mobile app with their S coin in the convenience store located inside the headquarters. So they are testing that technology right now. So we get to the fluff here, but I want to just recap and form a little bit of an opinion. And that is, I think that you're going to see for the purpose of the Tokyo Olympics. I don't know, I can't find any story that leads me to this uh, opinion, but it's just my forward thinking. I think you're going to see the Olympics partner up with one of the banks, whether it be SBI or 
Mizuho or Sumitomo, and I think they're going to create some sort of prepaid token that works inside the Olympic Village for the 2020 Olympics. It's just my opinion. I'm not sure, but I'm just kind of thinking that um, for the XRP lovers like myself, I don't think it's going to happen for the Olympics. I could be wrong, but I just think it's probably going to come from one of those initiatives by the Japanese banks. Okay. Um, fluff. The Ministry of Finance in Japan is going to release 30 types of commemorate, commemorating coins for the Olympics. And there are a few of them now that have been released. They're going to start shipping in November uh, 2018, so next month. And some of them are quite nice. The interesting thing is that there's two different, well, there's three different styles, actually. There's a pure gold, there's a silver, and then there is also a clad coin, which is kind of an inexpensive, uh, not so valuable, but fun nonetheless. The pure gold coins will be uh, 40,000 uh, issuing in terms of limited edition uh it will sell for one thousand two hundred dollars and then the silver coin is going to have an issuing number of one hundred thousand and it'll sell for about ninety dollars so this is the one i think is most interesting it is uh the image of yabusame which is the ancient heian period horseback archery And all over Japan, there are festivals throughout the year that have these um, riders on galloping horses that shoot arrows onto three different targets as they compete down a track. And this actually began back in the Heian period, which is 794 to 1185 so it's a very very old sport the track is about 220 meters and the, the targets are um, three very simple wood targets that they have to hit going as fast as the horse can run and just recently they have allowed women to participate So we can see here this video. Now only 15 years old. How She's will only 15. Among veterans? The horses go really, really fast. But if you um, search on those words or on that um, one word, Yabusame, uh, you can look at a lot of great fun videos on YouTube with those events because there's festivals all over the country. Okay, everybody, that's all I have for you today. Please take care. All right, sayonara for now. Bye-bye.